Hello, everyone. I'm Onyx Jones. And I'm Kevin Jones. And this is the second video in a series of seven videos that we're preparing for you on how to achieve your goals. So before we get started, we have a question. What's the question? Did you download this book? <laughs> and if you have, have you started reading it and doing the exercises? Did, yes. And did you find a goals partner? And with your goals partner, are you committed to building a relationship with them that's thriving and you guys are getting connected? Have you done that? Right. And have you spent some quality time together? <laughs> yes. And if you are spending quality time together, be thankful for that time that you're spending with them because your time is valuable and so is theirs. That's right. Gratitude is really powerful. Mm -hmm. It creates positive energy. Yes, and hey, is. this person is giving up of their time for you and helping you go through this journey. So you want to always show gratitude. Yes, you do. So in this video, we're going to talk about your innate talents and how they will come into play. What we're talking about, that's really the essence of this video for this time. Yes, we're talking about your innate talents. That's what you were born to do. It's what you're calling. It's connected to your calling. It's what excites you. It's something that if you got up every day for the next 20 years and this is something you were doing, you got up with power and you were excited. Yeah. You woke up saying, I love my life. So we're going to talk about those goals and ideas that you have that you're really passionate about. Right. So here's a quote for you regarding uh, spirituality. It says, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Okay. That was from a French philosopher. And what it really means is that our life that we're living, we live a spiritual life. Mm -hmm. And on our journey, in our spiritual journey, we have a segment of being a human being. Right. Okay. So the human part is a portion of our spirituality. So our spirituality takes precedence in all things. So this is why we're talking about being connected with your higher power. And yeah. it's really crucial in what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about having conversations with your higher power in a way that works for you. Mm -hmm. And for some of us, it may be through prayer, some it may be through meditation, reading, yoga, or visualization, whatever works for you. There's no rules. No. As long as it helps you identify your life purpose and helps you create goals that you're um, really passionate about. Right. That's the purpose. <coughs> so your innate talents, they are unique to you. Nobody else. You don't have to copy or mimic someone. It's what you are really about. Mm -hmm. And when you tap into that and grab a hold of it and really embrace it, it, it will fulfill your dreams. It will fulfill your purpose in life and, and your career. You will find yourself just excelling through life and having a blissful life blissful. filled with success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the second step, what we're going to be doing first is spending 20 minutes a day in prayer, meditation, like I said, whatever works for you, where mm -hmm. you just spend time not being interrupted and you think about your goals that are connected to your talents and you really see yourself operating in those goals and you have fun mm -hmm. and you really see the details, the intricate details and how it's unraveling and unfolding in your life. And then you're going to do some work. You're going to actually write down in a journal 30 day steps, 60 day steps, mm -hmm. and 90 day steps that you need to take to achieve your goals. So those of you that maybe want to start an organization where there's a career path you want to land or you want to start a new business, a whole new business that you dreamed of and you just never really took the time to really make it happen. Right. Well, what you want to do is sit down and say in the next 30 days, what do I need to do to start this business? Hmm. <laughs> well, I probably need to start with the business plan and right. I need to think about what type of business I want to start a sole proprietorship or a corporation. Do some research, do your homework. Then you're going to figure out what marketing plan do you want to implement? All these things you can do through working with your goals partner and the internet. But you want to get those goals written down in 30 day increments, 60 day increments and 90 days. Later, 
30, 60, 90. <laughs> Later on, we'll talk about six months to a year from now. And that's when it really gets exciting because then you get to sit back and start seeing some real progress towards your goals. Yeah. You said 20 minutes. That's not a long time. No. That's shorter than most TV shows. That's true. Yeah. Really, it is. I mean, that's just 20 minutes, not a lot of time. When you're selecting your goals, make sure you pick fun ones, mm -hmm. things that you're excited about doing, things that are achievable, goals okay. that are achievable. Don't be a high achiever and set the bar way up here where you know you're not going to achieve it and you get frustrated about it. Yeah. If you're picking goals that are heavy and you feel tired just thinking about it or talking about it, mm -hmm. That's not the right one. No. You should be excited and talking about it every day, all day. It should be your everyday yeah. thought. If you have yourself perplexed, take some time out, connect with your higher power, tap into some understanding, get connected for some guidance, and get set on the right goals that are right for you. Yeah. You remember, we're going to set those goals in segments. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be final because they can change as time goes along. Work in progress. Yeah, just got to get going. Yeah. And I want you to write things down. It's a must. You'll be surprised that when you write things down, it brings it to life. How many of us five years ago maybe wrote some small goal down mm -hmm. and look, five years later, you've actually achieved it. It's manifested. So it's really powerful when you write things down. And then along the way, stay focused on your goal. You want to read, you want to meditate, visualize, you want to see yourself in the future achieving your goals. This is your time. That's right. If you can see it in your head, you can believe it. Yes. Yeah. So share your goals, your progress. Share your progress with your goals partner. Um, let them know how you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Yeah, be proud of what you're doing, be excited about it, share your success. Yes, you're going to take those accomplishments and those steps that you've completed, you're going to check them off, and you're going to share that with your goals partner. <laughs> yeah, and be a dreamer. It's okay to dream, daydream. You know, some, sometimes people make fun of someone just staring off into space or whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's where the gold is made. That's right. Be a big dreamer. Yeah. Dream, see yourself in your mind see it be think outside the box there's, yeah there's no rules no nope. there's no set way of how you have to do something or accomplish something if you're a dreamer be a dreamer that's if you're, right you're that kind of guy that makes decisions that is odd and weird to everybody else be weird it's okay be yourself that's right and you want to be really clear on what life looks like after you achieve your goals every little intricate detail you want to mm -hmm. see because part of manifestation is being able to visualize it and see it. So our thought of, final thoughts for you, you must have a burning desire that's going to carry you over any obstacle. I mean, this has really got to be something you want yeah. no matter what. If somebody tells you no along the way, you find your yes. you yeah. got to be that committed to it. Yeah. Always give thanks to your higher power. Gratitude. My goodness, gratitude is so powerful. It generates such positive energy. And that positive energy is what opens doors for you, that opportunity to take a step forward to achieving your goal. Be positive and have gratitude to your higher power. That's right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining us. And join us next week, Saturday, August 19th, for the third video of our series number three yeah so until then see yourself being successful and live life with passion we're out thanks guys bye-bye